What's up YouTube? It's your boy Sticks, and I'm back with a reaction video. Hey, check this out. If this is the first time you're coming across my channel, do me a favor. Hit that like and subscribe button. It would help out the channel, and I greatly appreciate it. On this channel, I talk about everything Locked Up related. Sometimes I tell you my Locked Up stories. Sometimes I'm doing reaction videos. Today, I got a crazy reaction video for you guys. I wasn't even going to do a reaction video tonight just because I've been so busy. But then when I seen the title to this, I had to jump in the studio and do it. So, check this out. A murder suspect calls the police because his fries are too cold at McDonald's. Yeah, I already know that this is going to make it on an episode of Dumbest Criminals. Let's get right into this, see what's going on. Come on. 6 2 Kennesaw, did he advise what van? I got three white vans. I got three, so. Well, I got three white vans. Nobody's come out of them. Ten twenty two. I got contact. What's up, man? Uh, we the ones that called. Okay. What's up? Uh, basically, we went in there, purchased some food. Um, I guess there's something wrong with their server. A lady right. before us tried to order on the little box thing. She All said right. that wasn't working. He had to stop us from ordering and go help her. Okay. So it's, he probably frustrated at work. You okay. know what I'm saying? That's the whole scenario. Okay. From what I get. So why'd y'all call? So like what uh, happened? Because we ordered the food. Um, he couldn't print us a receipt. Okay. Um, so he said the receipt would be printed in the back. So okay. I said, okay. So we sat down, me and my fiance, looking for homes around here. Gotcha. So we uh, went back to Progressive Rentals looking at homes. Uh -huh. um, I guess our order was called. But we don't even know our order number. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So now our food is sitting there cold. So when I come up, I say, you know, I try to fry the fries. Are, they're lukewarm, but they're not hot. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I just asked him, can we get some fresh fresh fries? Okay. He said, okay, the fries are not hot. Touch the fries. I said, no, they're not hot. And at this point, you don't touch them. So, you know, yeah, yeah can I just get a fresh set? Okay. So is he getting the fries? And I said, can I also get the receipt? That was five minutes ago. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He, Excuse me, sir. Five minutes ago, I can I can run my store however I want to run my store. Okay. It's now. Sir, okay. I done paid. He said, matter of fact, you can leave my property. Get off my property now. Or you can come and get, uh, I'll do a refund. I say, sir, with, with ca um, cash up card, it's three to seven business days to do a refund. Just give me my set of fries and my receipt. That's what you're supposed to do anyway when I pay for my order. Okay. This is not my, my store. He's telling me this is his business. He owns this. And it's like, it's not that deep. We just okay. need the fries and the burger. Okay. Do you have your ID on you? Now I can tell you right now what he's telling the cops is a version of what happened because I guarantee you after the manager got sideways with him or whatever I guarantee you he wasn't sir this sir that you know it didn't happen like that I can almost guarantee you so basically they went and sat down and didn't hear their order called because McDonald's calls it by number and if you don't have your receipt, you don't know what your number is. Why they wouldn't be watching for their food or whatever, I don't know. But McDonald's food is garbage. Their service, the whole, the whole thing about McDonald's is garbage. But one thing, you definitely can't eat cold McDonald's fries. There's no way. Once them things get cold, might as well forget about it. Oh, sir. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to get your information. Okay. Uh, what's your last name? Uh, Sims. S I M S? S I M E S. E S. And first name? A N T O I E N E. O I A N E. A N T O I A N E. What's your birthday? What's your telephone number for you? So I'm gonna go ahead and let you know he called as well. So y'all both called. Yeah, we both right, called yeah. right now. So I'm gonna go in and talk to him. Um, hey, Carl, will you hang out with him? 
All right, he's going to hang out with you for a second, okay? I'm going to go and talk to him real quick. Yeah. Hey, let's go inside. Let's talk inside. Outside of here. Somewhere. I don't want I don't want us to be outside talking. We can talk right here. We can go inside. It don't matter. So what happened? Okay. So break it down for me. What happened? Hey, he insists that he's got all his food is cold. Okay. He's burning my hands. So whatever. That's, you know, not, you know, doesn't really matter. Okay. If there's another nice level, starts discussing me. You better give me fresh fries, mother. Here's a little old lady, and she just came up to me and if you need me to talk to the police, she's like, no, 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 yeah, I got this. And he starts losing it, starts shoving his food at me. Mm -hmm. And I asked the story. He said, I said, well, did that, tell you what, you can take your business elsewhere, give me a card, I'll give you a refund. No, I'm, you're not going to give me an effort refund, you're going to give me a food and my money back. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, so look, sir, got to shove his food. I took his food, so he's got nothing to shove at me, because the next thing you know, he's throwing his drink at me. Mm -hmm. So I took his food, took it to his sprite, put it in the trash. Here's your, here, give me your card, have your refund, take your business elsewhere. Please don't come back. Okay. Scream at me, I want to see Did you catch that? He said I went ahead and took his food because the next thing you know, he'll be throwing his drink at me. So he's automatically assuming that's not what happened. And his version is probably a little more accurate, although I'm sure he's putting extras on it too. It's an argument. The cops are there. You want to get your point across. So, let's see what this cop winds up doing. Come on. Did you give him his refund? Like, is that all yeah, you refused to. Okay. You're not going to give me a refund. Okay. Excuse my language. No, you're fine. This is the way he was talking. Okay. So, I don't want to see to you. I don't want to ever happen back then. Okay. I mean, dude's obviously on probation. Got an ankle bracelet on. Okay. What is um your information to? If you have your ID, that'd be much easier. Perfect. Anyone on you guys? Uh, I mean, I've been around for over a year. I just, I don't think I've ever met you. Did you just take ownership, or? I've uh, been around since 2011. Okay. I'm usually up at Giles Road. Gotcha, gotcha. What's a good telephone number for you? And you have to have his card to do a refund? Yeah, you, yeah, I don't want to back in here. Okay. If you want to give me his card, I'll give you his refund. Okay. Well, you're not going to give him any more food. You're not going to, like, remake no, it. Okay. Okay. I mean, it's your, it's your business. You're right. I'm just asking. He's, he's, I told him it's my business. It's okay. my restaurant. Okay. It's not. Like, you know, All right. I'll be right back, okay? okay. Mm -hmm. 1162, can you write one name and date of birth? Last name Sierra, India, Mike, Echo, Sierra. First name Alpha, November, Tango, Oscar, India, Alpha, November, Echo. Bravo, Mike. All right, so here's the deal. As a business owner, he has the right to not remake your food. He is willing to do a refund. He has no problems doing a refund, but he's not going to remake your food. As a business owner, he can do that. Okay. Um, he does not want you coming back in the store. He actually wants us to criminally trespass you, so you will not be allowed back at this no, McDonald's. I, I don't even stay here. I keep, I, it doesn't matter. He's requested it. we got to do it. It's not a big deal. It's so a piece of, charge me? No, we're not charging you. It's a piece of paper we're going to give you that's going to say, hey, you can't come back to this McDonald's. That's all it is. Wow. Like, yeah. No, just like, just realistically, did I do anything? I don't know. I, I'm not here to even figure that out. I'm here to, I'm here so to keep the peace. Like this is a, this is yeah, this is completely civil. So. Civil. Yeah, so yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. About okay. It later on. No, no, I don't want to oh, complain you, about it. Um, no, no. So. Fine, man. I just, I'm just don't understand what I did wrong. At this point. No, you're good. Um, do you have CT forms? No, I just, I was okay. I have CT forms. That's fine. Um, it's not a big deal. So look. All right. So this is civil. Okay. As a business owner, he has the right to refuse service to anyone he chooses to refuse service to. Just like if you owned a business, you have the same right to do the same thing. Exactly. If you owned a physical business, like you didn't have, have a, whatever you can CT, you, you can CT whoever the hell you want. You can do whatever. Yeah. As long as it's within the law, and that's within the law, okay? All right, so hang out with him. I'm going to get that form. It's a simple form that says, hey, just don't come back to this McDonald's. Now, I'll tell you, if you do come back to this McDonald's, will oh, you no, get called out here? No, no. You go to jail. I'm not. All right? I'm not. I, I got a smart. So... Um, you cool with the refund? Uh, yeah, sorry. He said, nah, nah, I'm not. I'm smart. But yet, 
You just called the police. Basically on yourself. You're being criminally trespassed. Which means you can't go back there. Not that you would want to anyways. But now. They're going to run your name. And find out. That you're wanted. Man you know how many times I pulled away from McDonald's. Looked at the food. And threw it in the garbage. I don't need a refund. I'm not going in there making a scene. Nothing like that. I feel like if you eat at McDonald's. You should expect to eat garbage basically. And I know there's a lot of people out there. That, that like fast food and stuff like that. But I'm telling you. When we're at work. And people want McDonald's. I hate even going there. I hate even going there. Yeah, I will get that in just a second, okay? Okay. Go ahead. for walked up back to the window and said hey he's being slick over there and he has an ankle monitor on so what was he on like house arrest or something and and he just skipped state or something because when they told him he was trespassed from there he said nah I don't even live around here or nothing like that but yet he's still wearing the ankle monitor wouldn't you cut it off if you was just to do the race on them, wouldn't you just cut it off, you know? Why would you be wearing the ankle monitor and you're wanted in questioning for a murder? Now I'm just confused. Uh, no, you're good. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, he's going to do the refund, so I'll get you the card here in a second. Okay. Same ID. You go ahead and confirm that. I would never be wanted for murder, first of all. But, this is why I don't call the cops. This is why I don't like talking to the police. Because my luck, I'll be the one to call them. 
and I'll be the one that gets arrested. Oh, you got a warrant that from a couple years back, unpaid this, something petty or something. And then I wind up in the back of the cop car in handcuffs. But this guy, if he's on the box and he's wanted in questioning for murder, shouldn't he be like laying low somewhere? Why is he making a big issue, a big scene at McDonald's over some cold fries? I mean, is he really that stupid? Either that or he's just not aware of the warrant. But, how, man, I don't know. I don't know. Spell your um, last name for me. S I M E S. Okay. Um, where's your driver's license out of? No, I don't have it. Okay. I think my mother's still at it. Okay. S I M E S. Spell your first name again. A N T O I N E. O I N A? O I N E. O I N E. Basically, just banned from here. Correct. Not Kennesaw. Um, his name. Their name? I can't remember. Yeah. So he's got new form, so I don't worry. Yeah, his name here, and then the manager's name. That's what I'm So he's the manager, or somebody else? Is he's uh, he's the owner. Look, the cop just heard it come over the radio. Approach with caution, armed and dangerous. Now he's up here trying to play it off. I wouldn't even be worried about that trespassing for him. That's something you could fill out right here in a little bit. They should be trying to get this guy in handcuffs or something. Either that or he's waiting on more backup, but he's already got another officer standing right there with him. So, basically the suspect, he's just straight stupid. And the cops are just being weird about this whole thing. So that's why he feels like it. Yeah, like I said, if you want to take it in the army, call the corporate. Yeah. No, nah, this is just 10, 10 bullets. I don't know. Was there a 10 I don't know yet. So his girl sitting in the car. Why didn't she just tell him, like, look, it's ten dollars. Let's just go. Why are you calling the cops? You're wearing an ankle monitor and everything. You're not even supposed to have police contact when you're on probation, parole, or whatever, house arrest, whatever he's on. So, I'm telling you, this right here, this guy right here, <laughs> come on, man. 2049 Cobb Parkway. Yeah, I got it. You got it. Yeah. Uh, give me a second. Excuse me, sir. So it's no secrets or nothing like that? No. no. So don't show up in the way the record. Like, you're not going to get a fine for it. Yeah, no. Um, I'm going to get him to fill this out. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Alright. 
So he's just stalling, waiting for more backup. Okay, makes a little more sense. But, I mean, there's one guy. You already had two officers right there. You're within arm reach of the guy. I don't know, but that's what he was doing. He was stalling. The stall tactic. All right, Mr. Sims, come over here. I'm going to have you sign this. I'm not under arrest or anything, am I? No, sir. Uh, just come over here. I'm going to have you sign this real quick. I said I'm not under arrest or anything. No, no, you're not. Yeah, just come over here. I'm going to have you sign this real quick. You have to sign it saying that you're yeah. going to come back to the property. So you don't fill this part out? Can I see it, sir? Yeah. Can you come over here, man? No, I'm, I'm afraid of y'all, sir. Why are you afraid? Been three years, sir. He knows. He's feeling it now. He saw that backup arrive, and now he knows. Let's see if he takes off. I'm afraid. All right, I'm I'm gonna walk you through. I'm, I'm, Why are you I'm doing afraid. that? I know how to fill it out. Why are you doing that? I know how to fill. Am I All right? Rich? Yeah. No, let's make it. Yeah. Car, 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 car. Six two Kennesaw. Car, cop. Taser. You get to go to the hospital. Huh? You get to go to the hospital. I need to go to the f well, I fell too. Alright, so yeah, that's basically it. They got the suspect finally after a foot chase, but if you ask me if they would have played their cards right, they wouldn't even have had to do the whole foot chase thing. He was with he was within arm's reach a couple different times. I don't know if it's protocol, you gotta have so many officers for the approach with a caution. You know, I don't know how police officers work or what. But for the suspect, come on man, you can't be serious. Never seems to amaze me. Hey look, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, if you like this type of content, like and subscribe. <clears throat> I will constantly be putting out videos. Hey, until next time, hold your head and stay out of lockup.